I, I know you know the exhibition game is kind of tough to really take a whole lot away from them, but uh, were, were turnovers that much of a concern for you? Uh, obviously a concern, but do you put much stock into it tonight? Well, I, you know, before Friday, it was a major concern because we had turned it over so much in our practices. Um, the open scrimmage before TCU, we actually it was our it was the best we had been. I think it was that scrimmage was 27 to 11, and then the other night was pretty good also. Um, but today, uh, we just we had no rhythm. We had uh, they were packing it in. We didn't move the basketball. You got to keep keep the ball, and you got to move the defense. I didn't think we do a very good job on that. And so it's just uh, it wasn't pretty. It was it was disappointing. Um, you know, but hopefully a learning lesson for our guys and. Uh, we just we never could get a rhythm. Whether we missed free throws, we turned it over, took a quick shot, and then obviously they they spread us out, went small ball, and and put us in a bind. But you know we felt um, we needed to play. You know some of those young guys, and I thought Monte was good. I didn't even know he was going to play. To be honest, he missed practice yesterday, his shoulder. Uh, but he, you know, he he was solid. I thought Dej one did a little better. Antonio after the big high the other night. Probably wasn't quite as good, but, you know, learn from it. And uh, Cardi can't get two cheap fouls, one 75 feet from the hoop and, and sit, you know, the whole half because, uh, you know, he just – I don't know why. He just – he's got to keep his poise and be so, be smart and solid. And so it's just, a, a, you know, hopefully a good learning lesson. Uh, you know, when it's said and done, we hold them to 29%, I believe. Uh, 31 from three. Uh, 56 points, but we turned it over 21 times. We missed 12 free throws, uh, you know, and didn't shoot it real well from three. You know, two exhibition games on both ends of the spectrum. One, you struggling to find any issues with your play last week, and then this one, you just pointed out a few right there. How do you analyze the balance there? Well, I think it's good, you know, I guess if anything for a coach, it's good because now, um, you know, they we have their attention hopefully, and, and they realize – uh, they, you know, how important every game is preparation. Every game's different. The ball bounces, you know, every different things, you know, don't go your way. So I hope they'd learn from it. That's what I said after, you know, it, obviously it was, it was disappointing. You always want to play better, uh, but you learn from it. And, and hopefully if you have the right, you know, leadership and poise and now you get better as a team over the next, uh, next four or five days while you get ready for North Dakota State, who's, a very, very good team, and it's not going to be easy to win. With Mac, is it as simple as just not fouling that leads fouling to games like that? Fouling, and and you know he's got to realize when people double him, he can't have six turnovers. Levi and him have six and four. That's that's your five your five men who don't touch the ball a lot um, have ten of your twenty one, and it can't happen. Uh, they you know again pack defense. They're there. You got to realize you know they're coming. You got to play stronger. Uh, they played hard. You got to give. Washburn credit coach did a good job, uh, you know, getting them to play their butts off. And, uh, you know, but if Mac can, you know, it's, I challenged him to get a double double. I, I still didn't think he was great, but I, I was happy he made some progress and had a good motor. Um, you spoke about Sean's situation last game. Has anything changed for him, or do you have any idea about him going in the next game? No, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see it over to, course of this next couple of weeks here we'll see where well you can get him back in there and you know it's a challenge to him uh to keep focused keep mature show us he really wants to be here and work his tail off to get ready so when he gets his opportunity uh he can help us um, you mentioned Dejuan being a little better was he a little more calmed down in his I think a little bit out? yeah he and you know it he had played so well that you know first 15 days of practice the summer um, and then all of a sudden it got hard and, you know, and, and, you know, you're, you're thinking too much. He, he, he said, uh, I, I said to him the other day, you're thinking too much. He goes, yeah, cause you're making me. And I was like, well, that's part of the game. You got to learn the game. You just can't play. You know, you got to realize read defenses and all of that stuff. And so, uh, it, it, uh, you know, I, I think he was a little better today. Calm down. He wants to do well. His is more. He wants to do so well, and he wants it to come easy, but he's, he's going to have to learn. So, you know, his numbers are okay, three for six and four rebounds, and uh, he had some play hards and good solid numbers. We got to – Mike McGurl's got to find some niche 
four assists, one turnover. I think in the two games he's got ten assists, uh, two turnovers, which is good. But uh, got to find a niche offensively to to score some points. Um, they made fourteen of forty-five. Was that a defensive issue or more just them? Uh, uh, from three, well, just they their just, talent. I mean, that was their way they were going to play. They played small. They penetrated, kicked, and kept us all. We we didn't we didn't adjust a little bit. We were we needed to do a better job. They they kind of got us flying all around, kicking it, swinging it, and and you know shooting those threes. And you know again that's still thirty one percent. If you know you hold somebody thirty twenty nine percent, you're doing all right from three. Um, they just hit some some open ones, some timely ones, and and we broke down. Sometimes it's the young guys. Ended a half, we had three in a row where we just broke down. Our guys didn't communicate. Um, a couple of those were actually older guys, to be honest. And so, you know, it, it, you know again, cr- give give them credit. Brett does a good job, and they, they came and played their butts off. And, uh, you know, hopefully it was good for them, good for us in the long run to, to learn and grow as a team. You talked a little bit about him, but um, just any more thoughts about Montavious Murphy's game today? I thought he, was, I thought he did all right. I, you know, again, he shocked me. Um, a day ago, he couldn't said he couldn't lift his shoulder and came to shoot around today. And Luke, our trainer, said, let's let him uh, at least shoot around and see what happens. And I kind of joked, you ready to play? He goes, yep, coach, ready to play. And, like, you know, so we said, warm up today, see what he can do. And I thought he was he was good. Uh, you know, he's he's been very 21 minutes, 11 points, five rebounds. It's pretty good so far. And he missed. Yeah, he makes he's got to make those layups. He. You know, if he can get a couple of those down, you think about it, he, he's doing pretty well. I, you know, Wyatt said to me, those two guys combined last week, I can't remember what it was, 26 and, you know, like 16 rebounds or something like that. And I, like, Dean never gave us that, so that's, that's pretty good, you know, for young guys. From these last two exhibition games, anything you can take into the North Dakota State game? And just I, what? You know, I, you know, we – Got to be ready to play. You learn from that. We got to play hard. We got to do what we do. And, uh, you know, they dove on the floor. We did it today. And, you know, if we play the way we're capable, and we got to take care of the ball and move the basketball and get assists. Um, and if we do those things, I, you know, I still think we're a pretty good team. I, I, we just – not very good rhythm today. And it was, it was disappointing. But uh, I guess you got to give our guys credit. We found a way to win. And we got it into double digits, and I wish we could have finished it and let some other guys get some more minutes at the end. But, but it's fine. You grow and learn from it. And what about North Dakota State? What good, solid team. Uh, you know, they made an unbelievable run last year at the end. Uh, they were dying as a team. Uh, I think if you go back and look, maybe 11 and 16 or 12 and 16, and went on a great run to finish the year. Won their league, got in the tournament, won a game on the. Uh, against North Carolina Central in the NCAA tournament. Um, so they got a lot of guys back. So it's uh, very well, you know, well coached, solid. We're going to have to play good basketball.